So Kyrie Irving uh, requests a trade. Um, big news, we got a bunch of teams in play. I think the top three teams are the Lakers, uh, Dallas Mavericks, and Phoenix. I don't see really – I hate to say it, I don't really see where it makes sense for him to go to uh, uh, Dallas or Phoenix if you're not going to trade Luka. Uh, if you if you're going if you're not going to trade Luca or Chris Paul or uh, or Devin Booker for him, um, you know that Phoenix is a is a guard heavy team, you know, so you're not going to be able to trade Chris Paul and a bunch of guards uh, uh, for you know uh, for a bunch of draft picks for. I mean, you could do a bunch of ra- draft pick. I mean, I, you could. I I do see Brooklyn giving up. I do see Brooklyn giving up a, you know, a. a Get, giving up Kyrie for some draft picks and Chris Paul, just a vet, a vet point guard with the KD. That that's, you know, that's a a, a, a mismatch made in heaven um, for any team that plays them. Uh, Dallas, I think you have to give up Luca. You know, looking at that team, there's no one else really that I think Brooklyn would really want to want really want unless they just start over. Um, but a lot of teams have been in, and then the Clippers have also shown interest as far as making a trade uh, for him. They have, you know they have John Wall on the bench. Uh, who's been passed around, you know, so much. He's been he's been pa- he's been passed passed around like he's trash, you know, um, like an old pair of shoes. He's been passed around. So uh, I don't know. I'm not sure who the Clippers can give up. Uh, you know, you have to you probably give up Bakwai or or Paul George because Kyrie Irving is that type of player. Um, you know, Charles, Charles Barkley is an idiot. Uh, you know, talking about oh he's not a good teammate. No, do you understand what Kyrie Irving went through in Brooklyn? Um, so the, there's a bunch of teams I feel are going to be out to to get him. The trade now the trade deadline is this Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, so um, I'm sure Brooklyn is looking at looking to work out a deal. The question is, do they keep KD? KD's been out with an MCL sprain since you know mid January. Um, you know I'm not sure. There's no telling when he's going to come back, especially with knee injuries. And KD's been he's he's had quite a bit of injuries over the past couple of uh, past couple of years. You know, I'm telling you, hey, look, the injury bug that will humble you real quick. I'll tell you all that straight up. You think you th- if you think you're the best thing since sliced bread, like, stay humble because that injury bug will hum- humble you real quick. It puts you down to earth and show and show how and show how mortal you really are. So, um, KD's been KD, Steph Curry, has been, you know, battling injuries. Uh, but I, I do ex- I do expect um, wherever Kyrie goes is goes to a team that has a chance to make a run at the playoffs. I don't expect him to go where there's a another scoring guard. So Devin Booker, uh, um, Luka Doncic, and then um, and you can say I mean, Kawhi is a forward. Paul George is a forward. So I don't really see them going to the Clippers unless they they give up give up those players. And I don't see them giving up in, in those teams giving up those players, especially the the Mavericks for Kyrie. And that's the only that's the only tradable player really on that team. They would they would take the Lakers. On the other hand. Um, Getting a guard like that who can score, um, it, it will be dangerous. Um, so, but the Lakers, I think the Lakers are more willing to give up a West, Russell Westbrook. They're more willing to give up, you know, a uh, uh, Patrick Beverly and and uh, Alani Walker and a uh, uh, Dan Schroeder. I I know for sure that Russell Westbrook wants to be starting, but and does Russell Westbrook want to go to a team where his where KD's there and a team that um, you know, really isn't without a healthy KD is in the running to to win a championship. Um, when KD, when KD and and uh, and KD and the, and Westbrook were together, it was they were phenomenal. Now it's funny because James Harden is I don't think he asked for a trade, but James Harden did. Uh, what did he say? He did say something about free agency. He is testing free agency in the off season. And I want to see them, some team, tra- tra- you know, trading for him, and them him doing an extension or, you know, something for some, something for the next year. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if Harden, and I, I would be surprised, but it'd be dope if Harden, Russell Westbrook, and, and and KD got back together, and you know, Kyrie and and uh, LeBron got back together, and you get that same kind of oh, well, it was Dame, it was Dwayne Wade, but they see him in the finals, you know. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, so Kyrie's up for trade, and we'll see, we'll see what happens.